Hello everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. Uh, today we are on the southeastern high speed. No, not on Train Sim World 2, on Train Simulator. And uh, for actually quite a while I actually have owned the Sheerness branch extension. So I thought we would, well I, I was meaning to do it on a live stream at some point, but that actually hasn't happened yet. So I thought I'd do it as a video. But yeah, we've got the 466, um, and yeah, we're going to take it up to Sheerness. going to stop at every station along the way. Should be around sort of 20, 25 minutes. Not really too sure if there's black fires on there, but this is a quick drive, so... Uh, anyway, uh, let's get the doors open here at Sh um, at Sittingbourne. There we go. Obviously, you probably will recognise the station. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, but I would say probably most of you have played this from the TSW version. But yeah, this is uh, Sittingbourne. Yeah, cool. But we wait. Let's get back into the uh, cab. Very similar design. Um, to the 166 obviously this is a network and I suppose very similar to the 465 but they're all uh, part of the same family um, let's set to forward obviously this is the DTG uh, 466 I don't yet have the AP pack um, has it got a bell? it does let's go next stop I believe is Kemsley we'll have to wait and see listen to this Sounds brilliant. Off we go. And yeah, it goes up to 90 miles an hour in a bit. And yeah, apologies if you can hear rumbling in the background. There is currently a storm going on. So yeah, you might be able to hear some rumbles in the background. Right, across we go. We're pretty much going across to then go back across in a second. Yeah, coming out of Sittingbourne. I'll show you the route today. Uh, obviously going up to Sheerness on Sea, which actually has quite a big steelworks here by the looks of things. I actually noticed that before. Cool. Um, yes, we are here, Sittingbourne. And we're going up here. Uh, so we've got one, two, four stations. Yeah, four stations. I think up to Sheerness on Sea. But yeah, it should be a nice, pleasant journey. Listen to that. I mean, look at the acceleration on this. It's just crazy. Cool, let's get that down to 30. That's coming down now. Braking is very good as well. Lovely. Yeah, I believe this is the Kemsley Triangle. Obviously, I'm sure someone will probably say, no, it's not. Um, I'm not certain for sure, but I think it's the Kemsley Triangle. But the majority of services come this way round and terminate at Sittingbourne. I think there's like one or two services, you know, peak time, which go to London from Sheerness on Sea. That's oh, 20 rounds here. So, yeah, this is uh, the bit of the route well, which might be new to quite a lot of you. Obviously, yeah, this bit isn't. Oh, hello. Let's get that open. Yeah, this bit isn't in the um, Trains in World 2 edition of South East and High Speed. But this is actually an extension to this one. So, um, yeah, this is not actually base route for the TS1 either. And we go. You can see the other side joining up. So, yeah, sit back and enjoy the journey. It's uh, pretty awesome once we get to Swell. As that Swell, you actually go over the bridge. And I think if I remember correctly, it's a bridge where sort of the road goes next to the railway. Which is quite cool. Yeah, we'll stop at every stop to Sheerness. Let's go up to 75. I'll we'll whack that back. I mean, look at the speed going up. Seems to be a fairly steep gradient coming down here. I suppose we're getting down to sea level, I guess. Or near enough. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've driven this bit myself. I think the last time I did this on TS was 2015 slash 16 when I sort of played the game on my very low spec PC. So it'll be nice to see how it looks like on here. Cool. Yeah, I think it is quite an old an old an old route this. I think 2013 slash 14 it got released for Train Simulator. So it's a fair few years old. Cool. 
Anyway, coming up to, I believe this is Kemsley. Which is the first station stop. Then it's Swell. Then... Not too sure. Then Sheerness on Sea. I think it's Queens... Something. Queensland or something? Queensborough. Cool. Yeah, I suppose we're making our way to the coast. Well, sort of. Making our way to the island. Here we are. Where is the stop marker? Stop marker, stop marker, stop marker. What's this one? Yeah, this is this is Kemsley, this station. Stop marker is here. We're only a two car, so I don't think there is a two car marker here. Obviously, as we know, the brakes are very good on this. Here we are. Through the doors. Bit of a passenger cam action. I still remember the first time I drove this train on TS. I remember I was just like, what is going on? Because it obviously went so quick. Obviously, these are the fastest. I think the 465 and the 466 are the fastest accelerating DC units. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. And we wait. Oh, there's a bit of lightning. Right, let's do the buzzer. And I believe it is Swell next. Which yeah, is a pretty cool station. Let's go full speed. I mean, look, look at the uh, passenger comfort thing there. Hey, you've got a 375. A free car one as well. In the old southeastern yellow and white. Let's get that off. There we go. Cool, and we're off. And I believe at some point it does actually go into single track. I think it is after Swell. No, uh, just before Swell. And I think from there it's single track the whole way. I believe. Cool. But yeah, we are whizzing along now. Back up to 75. And yeah, not too far to Swell. I think the next station is Swell. Which, you know, when you think of swell, you think of water, don't you? I mean, at least I do, you know, swell, the swell of the water. Um, and obviously, it literally is right next to the uh, water's edge swell. Or relatively close, if I remember correctly. But I don't think there was actually a lot at swell. I'm pretty certain it literally is, thanks to whoever subscribed or became a member or donated, it just popped up on the video. Um, yeah, I don't think there is a lot at Swell. I mean, I don't think there's any houses. I think it is just ready for the bridge. But I'm not really too sure. Is there anything at Swell? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think there is. I mean, look, there's, there is nothing about, and the station's coming up. I suppose maybe it is for when the railway's shut or something past, you know, the bridge. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, here we are anyway. Oh, what's that bit there? Is that little... Where's that bit of track go? I'll be looking at the map in a second to see where that goes. Where's that go then? Uh... Oh, where There's like a whole little area here. Where do you go? I don't know. Yeah, there's not a lot here, as you can see. You've got the bridge there, a few roads, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't actually see a house anywhere. No. I don't know, I suppose maybe it is... I mean, it's, I guess it's a bit like Southies. Maybe the village is a slightly further distance away or something like that. I mean, it's got a fairly long platform for it, for literally nothing. But yeah, just before the bridge, because in a second we will head on to that. Swell. Yeah, right near the water. I suppose maybe for the I know, little marina or something down there. Oh yeah, maybe it's for when the railway bridge is shut. So maybe they do the trains as far as here. Um, and then bus people over on the main bridge. Or something. I don't know. So yeah, I believe this one here is the newer bridge into Sheerness. I know that I think there was actually an awful accident on here back in 2013, 2014. 
Um, so this get this gets really foggy here. Apparently, like really foggy, especially at certain times of the day. And yeah, apparently it was literally no visibility on this bridge. Um, so yeah, obviously then an accident occurred, which is well not good. Anyway, we're crossing onto the Isle of Sheerness. Well, no, it's not the Isle of Sheerness. It's the Isle of Sheppey, I think. Isle of Sheppey. I'm gonna quickly look that up. I think it is the Isle of Sheppey. I'll have a look though. Going across here, there's a bus there. Yeah, it's quite cool this bit as we sort of share the bridge with with the road. I'm guessing originally it probably just was the railway bridge, and obviously maybe they then built the road bit on the side. Which is quite cool coming across here. Yeah, it is the Isle of Sheppey. And the main place is um, Sheerness. Apparently it means Sheep Island. In, uh, in Old English. Cool. Right, we can speed up again in a second hour across the bridge. But yeah, that's sort of the cool part of the route going across there. Yeah, quite cool coming across there. So it does seem there's quite a lot of freight, you know, stuff going along around here. The massive yard at um, in Sheerness. The steel works. I don't know if that would still run today. I'm guessing so. And back up to 75. Let's get going. Let's get that up. Yeah, not too fast for the next stop. See, I think it's this one, and then Sheerness after that, I think. Well, that still says we're 10 minutes away, so we've still got a fair distance to go. We're not, like, there already. Cool, comes down to 35 soon. An awesome drive there across the Kent countryside, I guess. And, and I guess this is part of Kent. Right, we probably want to start bringing the speed down. We do have a 35 fairly shortly. I suppose if you're a driver on this route, I guess you literally just would be shuttling back and forth all day to Sheppey. Well, Sheerness. Which I suppose would be a fairly chilled out journey. I'm guessing it's probably just one train which shuttles up and down this for probably a hourly service. I can't imagine it would be too busy. Cool. Some sort of freight yard here. So I wonder if it does still see freight trains. Seems like it is a bit overgrown, so I don't know if those days are now gone. But yeah, coming into uh, the next stop. But yeah, nice little journey. Let's bring that down. Queensborough is this one? Yeah, Queensborough. Which I think is sort of the other sort of town, a large town on uh, on Sheerness, on Sheppey. I keep wanting to blooming Sheerness. Nah, I think we could have stopped on the free car marker. <laughs> Didn't really notice that, but it's all good. You made it anyway. Um, yeah, I think the next station is Sheerness on Sea, I believe. So, like, where are we? We are. Oh, we we are up here already. So yeah, it's just round here, into Sheerness on Sea, two platforms. Awesome. Right, let's go in. It's got 15 out of here, so... Yeah, it's pretty slow in a second. Right, that's going up. Love the sound of the motors. Bring that down. 
then back up to 35 in a second, so. Down a tad more. And across we go. So I'm guessing if we continue straight on, that would probably take us up to, I suppose, the massive steelworks, uh, which is on the island. Cool. Yeah, it'd be quite cool seeing this in um, TSW2. Obviously, on Reza to Dresden, we are actually getting the Mycin branch, um, which is quite cool because, I mean, it, it, it's not actually sort of a, it's not a paid update, it's free. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing that. Right, let's get up to 60. Then back down to 30 very shortly. Yeah, nice and scenic, this uh, route. And if you do have southeastern high speed on TS, I um well well I recommend this a fair bit. And you've seen it's it's, it's it's beautiful coming across onto the island. Coming down to thirty, and pretty quick as well. I mean up to what was it seventy five on one section. Cool. It didn't take long as well, I think, what, 15 minutes to get up from um, Sittingbourne? We'll bring that down a little bit more. And here we are, arriving into Shiness on the Sea. Oh, is it one of those stations where it's just a Tesco or something, just a shopping centre? Oh, wow, look at that. What the hell? What is this place? It's like a massive mega car park. That's like the biggest car park I've ever seen. What goes on here? Is this some sort of scrapyard or something? Well, actually, no, it probably is actually because um, steelworks, isn't it? Yeah, this is the steelworks, so yeah, it does make sense for cars to be there. So I'm guessing all of them, all old cars, getting ready to be scrapped, I guess. But wow, there is a lot of them. I don't think you do actually get any freight service or freight scenarios on this, but I'm sure probably in the workshop you you'll be able to find one. Cool. I've just missed AWS, haven't I? Yeah, I've just missed AWS. So on the outside, it doesn't um, sound. On some of the older trains in the game. Platform 1 at Sheerness. Love the sound though. Cool. Yeah, here it is. Sheerness on C. I'm pretty certain there's the no, they're the Shetland Islands. As I was about to say, I'm pretty sure there's a shit. I thought there was a Sheerness Islands up there, but no, that's the um, Shetland Islands in Scotland, I believe. Cool. But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed that. Obviously, if you have, do leave a thumbs up and obviously do subscribe if you do want to see more. I will try and stream this at some point, and you guys can well ask questions and you know chat away with me as we uh, take the journey cool yeah the uh, 466 obviously almost identical to the 465 but obviously just a two car unit so yeah that's good though yeah fairly big station Sheerness on the sea looks like that plat well this platform can accommodate a 12 coach train. Yeah, probably a 12 slash 8 coach. Here we are. So I'm guessing possibly in the morning you'll get an express train probably in this platform and then the shuttle in the other platform. Here we are. We made it. But that is going to be everyone for today's TS video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. 
Uh, obviously, you will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Obviously, 20% off at the moment using the promo code SUMMER20. Obviously, put all your thoughts in the comments below about the branch line and what you thought of it. But yeah, thanks all for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.